Good morning, everybody. Today is Small Business Saturday. I am just having a solo day today, and I just decided to get drastically overdressed just to go out and about. I like feel like I I have these baking days where I'm just like a kitchen troll and I'm just baking for hours on end, and uh, and then I have content shooting days where I just feel like I'm shooting content for hours on end. And like today, I had the day off, and I was like, you know what? I should probably get out of the house. I have clean hair might as well make use of it so i just got wildly overdressed and decided to check out some new places the girl that does my deliveries katie uh she just opened her own shop with a bunch of other artists and i want to check out her store there's also this place in saint pete beach that i pass by every single time that i go to the beach it's called casa di pane i think that's what it's called and Every single time for years, I have said, I want to go there and see what it's about. Like, they probably sell bread. They probably sell other things. I do not know. But today's the day we find out. I didn't even bring my camera. I wasn't planning on vlogging. But I was like, you know what? I know it's a solo date, but I want to share it with you guys. So let's go to St. Pete Beach and try this bread place. I'm really excited to see what I'll find. And then we're going to head over to downtown St. Pete to check out some of the local stores and um yeah maybe you do some shopping maybe some window shopping maybe some actual shopping we'll see where life takes us so let's go <laughs> That was such a success. Okay, first things first. I was wrong about the name. It was something similar. It's La Casa del Pane. So there's that. What an adorable place. I felt like I was like right back in Florence. Let me move you because it's steering wheels in front. Hold on. This is a little better. They have things in the market. They have Italian olive oil. You guys know how picky I am about my olive oil. And they have fresh pastas in the fridge. And I was looking at the ingredients list and they don't have eggs in them. Like, not the filled ones. Of course, the cheese ravioli is going to have cheese. But like the fettuccine, all that stuff, no eggs. So that's good to know. I ended up getting just a plain baguette because those are hard to find believe me i've tried i hope that tastes amazing and then i ended up getting the grilled zucchini and eggplant sandwich pressed i am not in the least bit hungry right now so i think i'm gonna head home drop these off and then we'll go shopping and then like at the end of the day i'll try all of this and i also got a latte they did have options oat almond or coconut milk so very vegan friendly i mean all the pastries and stuff were not vegan everything else like there was there were options and i'm, I'm very happy that i stopped by today that was so cute and like everyone was so nice and like the way that the bar was set up and everything like i literally like it just transported me right back to florence oh this is your sign to go visit that spot in town that you've been meaning to forever and that you haven't just go like finish this video and then go because most likely it will be a wonderful experience uh let's head home to drop this stuff off and then we'll head downtown to go shopping sandwich i'm coming back for you baby i'm coming back for you Second stop in keeping with the whole been meaning to come here for a long time and haven't yet. 
we're out of the closet they are a vintage slash consignment slash thrift store i've heard good things i passed by it again a thousand times and always said i should stop by one day and uh today's a day let me show you what i got at the daydream let's daydream uh i got this for tara she loves turtles so this is gonna be your Christmas card. And then you get a free button with a purchase. And so I chose this one. It says, can I pet your dog? Because if I see you and you have a dog with you, I will ask this. So that's what I got. Uh, they had such cute stuff. Let's go inside now and see if there's anything, any goodies in here. Well, I'm officially starving. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments if this is just me or if I'm not alone in this, but like whenever I start getting really hungry, I get sad. <laughs> like the world just gets a little gray. <laughs> and I noticed when I was shopping that it was starting to get that way. And I was like, I think I just need to eat. <laughs> so here we are back at home. I didn't find anything at uh, out of the closet. What a good store though. It's like, more organized than your regular run-the-mill goodwill but it just didn't have anything that i needed or that i liked but that's that's the thing with like thrift stores you just gotta go frequently because things change all the time so today was not the day now i'm just gonna reheat my sandwich from earlier and i cannot wait to eat it and then we'll see where this day takes us honestly i'm a little tired i'm trying to just like chill out which sounds so freaking absurd when I say it like that, but I have a tendency to just go, 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 and I'm like allowing myself, now that I have a day to myself, to actually just relax. A novel concept for me. I changed it to comfy clothes because if we're gonna have the rest of the day indoors, there's no need to be all dressed up. Sandwich is all heated up, looks fantastic. So it has grilled eggplant, grilled zucchini, and sun-dried tomatoes. Mm. Mm. And she did add uh, olive oil and vinegar in there too, so. Mm. This is delicious. And the bread. This is getting me very excited about the baguette that I have as well, because this bread is A+. plus. We need to talk about this. Can we talk about all of the Christmas movies that are coming out on HBO Max, on Netflix, and all of that stuff, they are finally producing Christmas movies at the rate and quantity that I've asked for for years. Those terrible, horrible Christmas movies that I swear must take like a month for them to put the whole thing together from pre-production all the way to editing. Like the most basic storylines that everyone knows. Busy girl goes to the country or goes to this remote town, meets some really hot dude over there, and they fall in love love it absolutely love it i love all of those movies so i'm just gonna choose one of them there's one with freddie prince jr on netflix so i think this might be it let me know in the comments if you're like me or if you think they're completely stupid listen por que no los dos i think they're completely stupid and i also love them i'm about to watch one and eat this amazing vegan sandwich hello gingy he wants to be a part of this fantastic saturday afternoon Unexpected connection sends two strangers on a Christmas time journey through snowy New England with an old diary in hand. Yep, this is perfect. It is hours later. I spent a lot of time on the couch. I watched that movie. I would say it was a 9 out of 10. Not as silly as the other ones, but decently silly and enjoyable. Now I'm about to try that baguette, by the way. Um, I have this avocado that's about to go bad, so priorities, this is dinner. And uh, I also spent some time on Pinterest um, because having some of my girlfriends over for a cookie decorating party for like a Christmas kind of thing, you know, obviously there's going to be a whole other vlog with that. But I was like looking up Christmas cocktails of some sort. What I would love to do is a vegan coquito, which a friend of mine that I went to grad school with introduced me to that when we were in grad school. I had never heard of that before, but he's Puerto Rican and he showed it to me and I was like, oh my God, can I just have this every Christmas, please? And thank you. It's basically coconut, um, 
condensed milk rum it's delicious is what it is but coconut can be divisive like some people love it like me and then some people are really not about coconut so i was texting my friends and be like how do we feel about this the condensed milks that i have seen around i know there's an oat one but i haven't been able to find it locally to buy and i've tried the coconut condensed milk and in terms of texture it worked just fine but there was a coconutty flavor in this case it would be more than welcome this is the biggest avocado toast that ever was like look at this this is a lot also i hate the lighting in this kitchen at night i'm really sorry about it and usually i go with the everything bagel seasoning on the avocado toast but i don't know today i'm feeling feeling feisty i think this might be it today i think we're just gonna go regular just salt and pepper basic but always a winner you know should i eat this in front of you guys well i'll take a bite because this is not gonna be it's gonna be messy to eat honestly i'm just gonna eat it like a sandwich mm. that was super messy mm. Mm. this is good bread mm. yes like i said i've tried to find baguettes here and it's been an absolute nightmare they've been either hard or soft never that combination that it should be like hard on the outside soft on the inside this is this is great it's very yeasty like it tastes like homemade bread this is game changing you guys because now i know i can get fresh bread at that place i think i'll just call it over here for this vlog because nobody wants to see me stuff my face with this messy sandwich stay tuned for that holiday party because i think it's gonna be a good one it'll be a fun one so stay tuned i hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas so far let me know in the comments if you're following along and what you're thinking so far i will talk to you guys soon